In this video, we will show you how to use the screen designer to configure your screens in SuperOffice CRM. When you are logged into SuperOffice, go to the settings menu in the top right corner and choose settings and maintenance from the drop down menu. You need administrator rights to access the settings and maintenance part of SuperOffice CRM. Here, you can administer and configure SuperOffice CRM. To configure your screens, you need a subscription to development tools, which allow you to use the screen designer. In addition, development tools allow you to use CRM scripts to automate work processes, SuperOffice APIs to create customizations, and additional database tables. The screen designer will be available for all users with user level zero when the functional right called General Administrator is activated. Let's start by clicking on the Screen Designer button in the Navigator menu on the left-hand side. At the top of the Screen Designer menu, you can see which screens you are able to configure. To configure the company card, click on the Edit Layout button at the bottom of the screen. You are now in the Edit Card Layout dialog. Here, you can add and change fields, elements, settings and columns. Let's have a look at fields first. You can decide which fields should be visible on your company card. You can move the fields around and remove the fields you do not need. And you can add new fields that should be visible for your colleagues. Next, click on elements. Here, you can add an extra label. A label is like a heading text that you can use to group certain fields together. To make your label stand out, you can check the bold or italic box and you can change the text size. The divider will add a dotted, a solid or a blank line to your company card. The link allows you to add a new link to the company card that will perform a specific action when it's clicked. For example, the link can open a new website execute a CRM script, or serve as a shortcut that will take you to a different part of SuperOffice CRM. The button allows you to add a new button to the company card. When the user clicks on the button, SuperOffice will perform a specific action in the same way the link does. And you can of course change the style of the button to match the action you want to perform. Let's move to settings. As you've already seen, the settings menu becomes available automatically when you select a field or an element. The settings menu allows you to change the way a field or an element looks and what action it will perform when used. Finally, you can choose how many columns you want to use in the column menu. Here, you can choose from one, two, three or four columns next to each other. In the top right corner of the Edit Card Layout dialog, you see all the tabs that are available on your company card. You can select them by clicking them and change the content of the tab as we have just shown you. If you wish to move fields from one tab to another, you can select the field you want to move and drag it to the tab you want to add it to. You'll see that the content of the tab you've selected appears. You can now drop your field where you want it to be visible. On the right hand side of the tab section, you also have an add button to add additional tabs when needed. After you click the add button, you need to decide how many columns you wish to use on this tab. Then you can add the fields and elements you want to be visible on this tab. Once you have added and configured all the fields and elements you wish to use, you can save your draft, or you can save and publish the new company card. If you wish to revert to the layout of your company card from when you started, you can click cancel. In the task menu, you also have the option to reset the layout. When you click the reset to factory settings button, SuperOffice will reset the screen you are working on back to the factory settings. Here, you are also able to remove tabs you do not wish to use on the company card and you can choose to discard the draft that you are working on. 
This will only unpublish the changes you've made since the last time you've published a new version of the screen you are working on. Now let's click Save Draft. You are now in the main screen of the Screen Designer again. You'll see that the draft you've made is now visible. Just above your draft, you can switch between the current company card and the draft you created. This way, you can compare the two before you implement the changes for all users. When you are happy with the draft, you can open the Edit Layout dialog again and click Save and Publish to roll out the changes for all users. In the bottom left corner of the Screen Designer, you see the Add and Delete buttons. When you click Add, you can create an alternative company card. If, for example, your sales team needs to be able to access different fields as compared to the rest of your company, you can create a company card that is only visible for users in the primary group Sales. When you add the company card for Sales, you can use the Edit Layout dialog in the same way as we've shown you. As soon as you save and publish the new company card for sales users, it will be available. You can repeat these steps to create and configure your other screens in SuperOffice. We have now shown you how to use the Screen Designer to configure your screens in SuperOffice CRM. Thank you for watching. For more information on how to improve your productivity with SuperOffice CRM, please visit our community website.